Hi, I'm here today to talk about our new Dayton Audio SPA 250 DSP subwoofer amplifier. This is a very versatile amplifier that can be controlled by either the display on the amplifier itself or by graphic user interface when you link to a PC. Now I'd like to show you each of the features and walk you through them. First, I'd like to show you the graphic user interface, which you can utilize by connecting to a PC via USB connection. Any changes within the graphic user interface is automatically changing the amp itself. So when you unplug it, all settings will be saved. Right now we're looking at the graphic user interface, but if you see the red lights here uh, is indicating that the USB is not connected. Let's connect it now. Do it now? Yeah. Now that we're linked, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the first tab over here. You can see you can adjust your volume. from 0 to negative 100 dB and your phase infinitely adjustable from 0 to 180 degrees. Next is a low pass filter. We can turn it on and off. We can adjust the low pass frequency as well as the, the slope of that frequency. Either it be 12 dB per octave or 24 dB per octave. Next on the menu is a subsonic filter. Again, we can turn it on and off and adjust the slope of that high pass frequency or subsonic filter. You can also adjust the frequency. This is particularly useful with vented subwoofer systems. Next, we have the parametric EQ. You can adjust up to five bands. One, two, three, four, and five. Each band is independently adjustable. Amplitude, and Q, and frequency. Up to 6 dB in amplitude. However, you can take another band and stack onto it as well to gain even more amplitude in a certain frequency. But they are independently adjustable. Next we have a limiter. It's actually a dual band limiter, which can be adjusted from frequencies between 40 and 80 hertz. We'll set this on 60 hertz. And what the band limiter does is between 60 hertz and below, as our settings indicate, we have a threshold and attack as well as release. This is particularly useful for small subwoofers where you want to cut off the attack or release at a certain frequency. However, above that, you can increase your attack and release and your threshold as well. Last on the options is a high frequency output. This feature is not frequently found in subwoofer amplifiers, but it enables you to protect the mains or satellite speakers from the low frequency output. You can adjust the frequency, and again, you can adjust the slope of that frequency, whether it be 12 or 24 dB per octave. Another useful feature is the delay. The delay will allow you to delay the high pass satellites or main speakers so that you can match them up with your subwoofer amplifier. That concludes the functions of the GUI interface. Next we will look at the functions offered on the display on the amplifier itself. 
Now I'd like to show you the features and functions of our SPA 250 DSP amplifier. You have high level and low level inputs via right and left. You also have a high level attenuator. So if you do have a high voltage input, you can attenuate it. We also have outputs of the same low level and high level that are available for your high pass filter. Next, uh, for functions, we do have a display and we'll turn the unit on. And this is for display purposes only. We do not have any, uh, any signal connected. Now let's go through our menu functions of the SPA 250 DSP amplifier. It defaults to the volume setting. In order to get into the volume, you click once, you change your volume, you click twice to go back to the main menu, you move the controller, the next one would be high pass, you click once to get in, you set your, you can set your frequency or your slope, let's set our slope. Now we're into slope and we have the option of going to 12 or 24 dB. Now we look at frequency. We can select our frequency, click once to get into the frequency. And now we can select our frequency. We click twice to get out. And now we're back to our uh, main menu. Now our next menu feature is a low pass filter. Click once to get in, you select your frequency, and you select your slope. Double click to get out, we're at phase degree. Click once, we adjust our phase, double click to get out. Next is our high pass delay. Click to get in, it's adjustable from 0 to 10 milliseconds. Double click to get out. Subsonic filter is next in our menu function. Click to get in. You can select your frequency. You can select your slope. Double click to get out. Double click to get out. Next in our menu setting is our parametric equalizer settings. We have PEQ1 and PEQ2. We click to select our frequency, level, and Q. Frequency, click once, click again, and now we have our level to get in and it's from negative 12 to 6 dB so negative 12 will be attenuating and 6 dB will be amplifying click once move over and now we our last feature is our Q for parametric EQ it's adjustable from a Q of 0 0.6 to 14 which is also equal to a bandwidth so we click once, we make our adjustments, click again, double click to get out, double click to get out again, and now, now we're at our save and load functions. First of all, let's save, click to get in, we save, now we have the choice of three presets. Let's choose preset 3. Click once to get in. It's saving. Double click to get out. Okay, now we'll load that preset. We click once. If you see here, preset 1 was already preloaded, but we want to change that to preset 3. So we push once. It's loading. Now you see the asterisk moved to preset 3. So that is actually internally uh, the changes we made to the amp. Double click to get out. Double click to get out.
That concludes the f features and functions available on our new SPA 250 DSP amplifier.